Hey, it's Erin, EW Wellness Solutions. And today I'm playing a question that was originally asked back in the summer by my daughter and her friends in the form of, how do we get a six pack, Mrs. Wathen? And in honor of that question, I'm playing a little medley for you because their songs are very short. Britney Spears goes into Jennifer Lopez, goes into Pink. So, all ladies with six packs or flat stomachs because it's different. All right, what is a six pack? Six pack is when your or a person's abdominal wall, the fat is, the body fat is so low that you can see like an anatomical chart visible muscles. So the six pack term is because of the row of muscles. I could tell you the Latin terms, but you don't really care. It's that six pack look we're always talking about. You're seeing in magazines and gyrating around <laughs> in, in um, videos. This is the thing about six packs. I'm having Brittany go first in this little compilation video because when you look back or think back, to the heyday of Britney Spears when she's dancing with a snake, right? She knows six pack. Check. Google it. Look at the video with the snake. She's amazing looking. She knows six pack. Why is that? My guess? Genetically, she can't lean out there that much because of her body type. It's not that she wasn't in good shape. I think she was like 20 when she was dancing with snakes. And it wasn't that she wasn't in the prime of her everything. Her body wouldn't do it. Even now, when she seems to have gotten a second chance at everything, she still doesn't have a six pack. She looks amazing, and I'm not bagging on Brittany at all. Her body just doesn't seem to want to do it. She's got more of that athletic build the dancer kind of build. And when you think about when Britney Spears has gained a couple pounds, where does it typically go? Think back to chubby Britney. It went from her waist up, right? While other pop stars like Jennifer Lopez, who's going to chime in any minute here, she always pretty much has a six pack, excluding when she was pregnant. She might have body fat other parts, of her body, but her stomach seems to be very easy for her to get to be defined. It's a body type thing. So how do you get a six pack? One, your stomach muscles are easily seen because your body fat is low, your abdominal muscles are built up, and your body is willing to let you do that. Because there have been times where my body fat's low and I'm really thin. Jenny from the block, I mean, come on. And I'll have a little glimpse of something, but my body type doesn't really love to just pop them out. I'll have bones coming out of my neck and my hips and stuff, but as far as like the six pack look, I am too athletic for that to come out. I have friends, they have a different body type. They're more of a J-Lo body type. They very easily can get that six pack look but the rest of their body not so toned. So what I was telling these two poor tween girls who wanted to get a six pack in like three days by the way, is it's not as simple as you eat salads because that's what they thought the answer was. Because I said to them, what do you think people do? And they said, oh, you just eat right for a couple days. Also, the thing about a six pack is functionally, like as far as sports and athletics goes, it doesn't necessarily mean you're in better shape than the person that doesn't have one. Crazy, right? If you were to take a poll of a bunch of very elite athletes, most of them would be very defined. Depending on their sport, it would vary as to do they have a six pack. Look at the Olympians. Depending on the sport, some are going to have really big legs. 
in the, in the Winter Olympics, and we're gonna have thin legs. Look, at, think of an, a nice skater, like a Nancy Kerrigan type, right? Versus a Tanya Harding type. Different body types. So when I get the what about a six pack, which is up there with questions I hate, like how do I get a thigh gap? <sighs> I get it. Everybody wants to know. But the answer is a lot of luck, a lot of hard work, and you gotta really have the genes that are cooperating with you. Because there are a lot of very in shape people whose bodies will not naturally pop like that. We can't even take our Kardashians, for example, and look at the different body types there. Some of them can rip up, some of them cannot. And that's cool. That doesn't mean anyone is more shaped than the other. It means they're different body types. So when I get asked about six packs, which thankfully isn't that often unless you're 12 or 13, I cringe because I know it's just a superficial thing. It isn't how do I get in better shape or how can I be the best athlete? It's how can I have this appearance? I get it. I used to be 12 and 13. <laughs> Hope that helps. I'm Erin, EW Wellness Solutions, and have a good day. Bye.